Hello fellow Aussians, I'm the Louisiana Quadling, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to... With not one, not two, not three, but four Return to Oz posters. Now, if you are a fan of Oz, just like me, make sure to tap that little red OZ at the bottom of the screen and subscribe for more Oz content. Today, we are going back to the mother country, the United Kingdom, and looking at these posters that were used to promote Return to Oz in UK theaters. They measure approximately 20 by 30 inches. All four posters feature a different character from Return to Oz in front of a white background with a blue Art Nouveau styled frame around a yellow border. Each poster features Oz in the phrase printed on the top. It's fantastic. It's marvelous. All the text is printed in red with the Return to Oz logo in a magenta color. The Bellina and Jack Pumpkinhead posters are cropped images from other photographs. Out of the two characters, I have never seen the photograph Bellina originates from. The Scarecrow and TikTok posters come from a photo shoot that was done near the end of the film. For Oz book fans, these posters are especially exciting as three of the characters are hardly, if at all, ever featured on merchandise or promotional material, making these an excellent addition to your collection. If you were to come across one of these posters out in the wild, how would you know that it's an original? Well, the good news is, is that none of these have ever been reproduced, meaning that if you find one, it's an original from 1985. Framing these posters will also be easier for you since they are a standard size here in the United States. You can easily go to your local Walmart or craft store and pick up frames there. These are also much more affordable than the last poster that I covered since you don't have to get these custom framed. My posters here are not in a typical frame. They are on a cut piece of acid-free foam board and shrink-wrapped. This was a method that we came up with a good 10 years ago for an exhibit that I did here locally. And it certainly was and still is a very affordable way of framing posters. So that's another option for you. Now, if you were to add these posters to your collection, how much would you have to pay for them? I've seen these posters sell individually for as low as $50 to as high as $100 a piece. And as a set, I've seen these sell as low as $200 and as high as $400. These posters will be easier to find if you, of course, live in the UK. If you are buying them here in the States, you most likely will be buying them from either a dealer or a seller from the UK. Don't expect to find these posters here in the United States, as it's more likely that the poster shops here would contain posters that were used, of course, here in the States to promote Return to Oz than foreign releases. And also, just as a note, since these posters originate from the UK, they're going to be more sought after than other foreign releases because the printing on the posters is in English. These are certainly some of my favorite Return to Oz posters. But then again, kind of all of them are, so... Let's just roll with it. <laughs> What's your favorite Return to Oz posters? Comment down below. And if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. New videos are posted every 15th and last day of each month. And if that doesn't satisfy your appetite for Oz, follow the link in the description to ozclub.org and join the international Wizard of Oz Club. Until next time.
Bye, y'all.